Connie from The Painted Photographer. I sell DIY paint and IOD products. But if you're local, I sell my products at Tees Tanning plus Gifts on Main in Metford, Wisconsin. The link will be below. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to cover up a painted surface that you'd really rather not distress back to. So the first thing you wanna do is paint over your surface using DIY's Little Black Dress. I buy a lot of items for my Paint It or Pitch It show that I need to paint a solid color so that under color does not come back through. Little Black Dress is my go-to color. This next step is very important and a lot of people forget to do it. You're gonna pu put a coat of Big Top onto your first color. Big Top is a clear sealer that will no longer let you penetrate into the surface below it. So when you go to wet distress, you're only gonna go as far as the little black dress. I'm gonna put some white swan on, which is going to, the big top is gonna to prevent us from distressing any further. It's only gonna distress to the black. I like to not waste very much paint, so I use the smaller artist brushes. This is DIY's white swan. And we're going to paint this a solid white. The DIY paint is no VOCs. It's a thick based clay paint, which will take two coats. You may want to leave some of that black showing through while you're painting so it doesn't take so much to distress it back. You got your piece all painted white. You can take baby wipes and distress that off. You can bring those details back. We're going to apply the DIY clear wax onto this project. I'm going to use my DIY wax brush and I'm going to get down in all those crevices with the wax and it's going to brighten it right up. You put a little wax on your brush, just like that. 
And then you brush it around into those details. This brush is soft and has many, many bristles. So the wax is going to, let me show you that. The wax is gonna stay up here. It's not gonna go down into the base down here. It's gonna stay up here. That's why this is called a wax brush because it has so many bristles all compacted together. ready to buff it now. The wax is dried on here. It has kind of still a sticky feeling, but it's not like sticky to the touch. It just has a feeling of like it needs to be polished. There's a few ways that you can buff your items after they are waxed. My favorite, which is this large paint pixie buff brush. It's a little on the pricey side. But if you do a lot of painting furniture and a lot of buffing wax, this is a lifesaver. Next is the Buffy. She is the tiny little buff brush to the buff, the buff and the Buffy. So this one isn't quite as expensive and this one is good for some little details. And I'll show you how I use that. Or, you can use the good old shop rag that I used for many years. So you don't have to have one of those expensive brushes, you can use a shop rag. And I'll teach you how to use all three of them. The buff, this is the buff. You take the buff and you buff the item to a nice finish. It gets kind of a matte gloss finish to it. It'll feel nice and silky smooth where you're buffing off all that wax. That's why these buff brushes work really good because you get in all of those crevices. Those bristles just get right down in there. The buffy. He would take a little bit longer, but he's also going to get in those crevices. The paper toweling, just buff around on it. You're gonna have to buff all the high places and try and get into those low places. And you're gonna buff until you can't buff anymore. Bye-bye, you're gonna have big old muscle. You're welcome. So that's it. That's my tutorial on how to paint two colors and distress back to the first one. This project might seem kind of simple. I have a lot of people asking me for basic painting classes. So this is one of the basics where you have something that's ugly underneath and you need to cover that up. So you use a little black dress and then big top to seal that color in. Then you paint it with the top color, which is in this case, white swan. I hope you enjoyed this video and follow my links below for my Facebook page. Make sure you subscribe and like this video so you'll see all the others that I have. Anyway, I'm gonna put you down. Bye.
Yeah. Paint one, two colors. This one was green, this one was yellow. You know that. You seen it at the beginning. My kids keep texting me. Happy painting. I am Connie from The Painted Photographer. I sell DIY paint and IOD products. If you need any, please message me and I will be in contact with you. I ship, but if you're local, I sell my products at Tees Tanning Plus Gifts on Main in Metford, Wisconsin. The link will be below.